New today, former U.S. Representative Matt Gates of Florida says he will not return to Congress after taking his name out of the running for attorney general. While his future remains uncertain, President-elect Trump has already named a new pick. Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan is joining us now. And Margaret, Mr. Trump continues to fill out his cabinet with some controversial picks. And there remains, of course, a focus on what policy will look like. So what's the latest here? Well, and now that uh, Matt Gates has taken himself out of the running to be attorney general, uh, senators are making a calculation quietly as to how many of Mr. Trump's picks they can politically afford to oppose. And when it comes to implementing Mr. Trump's promise on the campaign trail to carry out mass deportations, we're seeing that come into sharper focus. There's broad public support for mass deportations. We see that in our CBS polling. But how it's conducted is already uh, causing some friction with senators, including a leading Republican, Senator Rand Paul, who's on track to become the chair of the Homeland Security Committee. He says he is not OK with using the military and military assets to round up undocumented migrants in the United States. That's a top advisor to Mr. Trump described deputizing the National Guard to carry out these roundups. And we know that federal law prohibits the military from acting as a uh, domestic law enforcement agency. So you're seeing a challenge to policy there. This could become something to watch as we head towards those confirmation hearings uh, that are expected to get underway in January to put a cabinet in place. We're going to talk about that Sunday with Senator Paul. We'll also talk about the pick to run the Pentagon, Pete Hegseth. We'll turn to two Army vets, H.R. Uh, McMaster, retired general who worked for Mr. Trump as national security advisor and Senator uh, Tammy um, Duckworth. Now, the International Criminal Court actually issued an arrest warrant for Israel's prime minister and a Hamas leader this week. And the Senate rejected a bill planned to block U.S. arms sales to Israel. So how does this work into Sunday's show? We'll talk about it with Senator Chris Van Hollen of Maryland, who has uh, raised concerns for months now that President Biden is not implementing U.S. law or international law when it comes to U.S. ally Israel. He is saying that uh, the U.N. and other aid agencies and their assessments should be taken seriously in regard to the humanitarian disaster in Gaza and how U.S. weapons are being used to wage that war. You heard this come up during the presidential campaign. Well, President Biden stood by the prime minister of Israel, even though that arrest warrant came out this week, uh, which the United States States condemned. But it's a fault line in our politics, particularly within the Democratic Party, um, and one that could have long term impact for U.S. ally Israel as as its conduct during this war is really being questioned. OK, Margaret Brennan in Washington for us. Thank you. And tune in Sunday for Face the Nation with Margaret Brennan right here on WCCO at 930 a.m.